Hey, it's JC1424 once again with Gran Turismo 4. And in this episode of our GT Mode playthrough, part 18, we're going to do the Japanese Compact Car Cup. Finally, we're going to use the Nissan MMR Cup car that we received for completing March Brothers in the Nissan One Make Races. You see, it's got the nice headlights, all them stickers. I think this is the first, like, cup car or race car with stickers on it that we've gotten from the game to race with that, that we own. We might have had something like the license probably. But, um... I need to remind myself to go take that 63 midget that we got in the last episode for a drive. Probably an arcade because I already sold a bunch of my cars because we got a bunch of money stolen from us trying to do March Brothers and that's how we got this car, of course. But, um, yeah, this is a compact car. It's just also a cup car, so this is great. And this is a championship, I forgot. I need to buy some standard tires. The Economy Comfort Road. I like being comfortable. That's why I'm wearing this hoodie. This is I heart hot mom's hoodie that I got from Devin. I love you, Devin. Um, okay, so we got that, we did that. Okay, now we meet those expectations. And if you see in the background, there is a, a Nissan MMR right there behind the Honda Fit, but that's a stock version, that's a regular one. So I'm bringing that here, but it's a cup car version, so we should be perfectly fine. I hope I'm not misled. Uh, we got Twin Ring Motegi, short course or east short course? It's always the East, East, East. Autumn Ring Mini, Reverse, and Sukuba Circuit, Deep Forest Raceway, Reverse, all the reversals. JJ's Reversals. Um, yeah, JJ's Reversals do this when we go around the track forward, just wait. And then Suzuka Circuit, and that's East Short Course, right? It's always East Short Course. Yeah, I wasn't reading it, but let's get into it. These driving aids are like mosquitoes in Louisiana. You gotta Turn them off. You gotta use that off. The off is the power of your finger. You gotta do that. Why is it some of them has it on seven default TCS and the other ones it's five? Why do they do that? All right, here we go. Here are the five cars we're gonna be racing up against in this Japanese compact car cup. We got three Vitzes, RS Turbo, RS 1.5, and U Euro Sport Edition. Um, I'm concerned by the, the turbo starting the first two, but we can qualify if we need to. Um, then we got a Nissan Cube. That could have compete in March Brothers. And I kept on saying like it was on the the eligible thing, but it didn't. Uh, and then you got a pink Mitsubishi Colt. Not a pink Vitz, but a, a pink Mitsubishi Colt. I'm not even that familiar with it. But to be honest, it probably looks exactly like a Vitz. Yes, it, it does. It's better than a Vitz. Vitz is overrated. You won't, you won't catch me ever not saying that. And look at me, with my stickers and my, my whiteness. Let's go! 16-point race. Easy shit. These are comp comp compact cars, so A-spec rating can be a little low for what it actually is. Well, they've got straightaway speed, so this is good. Okay, it's a cup car. But it, it might not be that great at cornering. I figure it would be just because it's got the, the extra suit with steering. Okay, let's get it down. Second gear. Pass you. Get out of that wheel spin. Already up to fifth. The leader. Yeah, the RS Turbo, of course. The turbo guy. Has turbo. He's using the turbo. He's turboing. He's doing the turbo stuff. Oh my god, that's concerning. He is he is leaving. My car can't turn. I just said that just because it's a cup car doesn't mean it doesn't have the compact car qualities of not wanting to steer. And I've got straightaway speed, and this stupid overrated bitch won't leave me the fuck alone. Okay. We're all right. I'll catch this, uh... Whatever this is. The, the Q. Nissan Q. Stupid ass smart car looking bullshit. No, 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 no. Go away. Um. Uh. The Vitz. It, we, we've got some time. Oh my gosh, understeer. I, I... We're, uh... <laughs> I, get over here. It is really all just a matter of how many races that are rolling starts and how many are the dead stop starts. <laughs> two minute laps. Probably the first lap was two minutes. But I'm capable of catching them. It's just that there's so much understeer. It's the regular compact car levels of understeer and it's driving me nuts. And it's RS Turbo. 
Okay, they're giving us 1,000 credits for getting second. So that's an extra thousand. Extra is good. We're gonna go back and we're gonna win it. We're gonna spend the whole freaking first lap of our next race trying to catch fifth place. And then this guy has no horsepower. Good for you. Now let's get it down. Gosh, I have to drive so low. I feel like this is a personal problem with the a personal problem for a car. Wow. But it's specific to this car not being capable of steering. Like it just this car. Even though it's a cop car and it's a combat car, like all the other ones. It is less capable of doing the things that all the other cars can. That's so why I need qualifying to win this. I, I can't do it otherwise. It's it's supposed to be better than the other ones, but it. Uh, look at this fucking stupid shit. It don't want it. It don't. It don't want it. That's all it. Oh my god! What the heck? Well, thank you for the keychain. It's lovely. Can I? catching past these guys at this track I feel like I'm closer to this red bits this time I'm the only form of passing that happens in the entire field they put them in a specific order where they never actually pass each other and compete okay we got up to fourth gear um, I was thinking about going to fifth gear but I don't think that was gonna happen this guy is running me off the track it's like I'm going the same speed as him but somehow my car is just driving off the track but his is fine and it can't be the tires man because I said comfort. I bought comfort. This is not comfort. This this is a disability. So it's gotta be the suspension. They didn't have a disability option for the tires, so I think there's a disability in my suspension. Uh -huh. Oh my goodness. We're gonna finish this championship. We're gonna lose every race. Then we'll put the upgrades in. And do it a second time with qualifying. <laughs> it's a race, I can tell you that much. At least we got another 1,000 credits out of that. That's two second place finishes. Don't get me wrong. I could be qualifying right now, but I'm saving that for the second time I do it because I want to see what I can do without qualifying. Because I like being challenged. It's just, <laughs> I didn't think that this car would be so incapable of competing with cars of its own kind. This is supposed to be the best version of cars of its kind. But it's... You don't do the steering thing. I turn the steering wheel all the way to the right, and all the way to the right is probably 90 degrees. What? Huh? This is like a NASCAR car compared to the actual version of those muscle cars. Like, you take a NASCAR uh, Camaro and compare that to a stock Camaro, and the regular Camaro is better than the damn thing because it's not meant to handle like shit. But, we are up to fifth place, and I'm past this guy and get into fourth. And I'm gonna go into more sweat mode and catch these guys over here. Take this, it's so annoying. Y'all kick my ass, and then we get to a track where you just have to go straight, and y'all annoy the shit out of me. All right, second place. Again, we got like one race to go. Yeah, and a thousand credits. Oh, oh, it's a dead start. It's dead. Acceleration. 
he's key. Speed is key. Okay. Oh, first gear. I've had a deal first gear. Okay, well, that, that's my first gear. That's my second gear. The second gear was sore than the first gear. Ah, don't touch me, bitch. I'm coming. And we're in your fourth gear. So quickly. And these got out. Bopped my nose. But still. Slow, up, up. Slow, I'm going to slow down so I can actually uh, appease to the second gear. But I'm like, no. Get into third gear. That was the dumbest shit ever. But I'm trying to figure out like why I wasn't able to keep up with the RS Turbo at the start. But, yeah, he's got acceleration too. He's got good acceleration. Went through the gears decently. Now it all comes down to if I can keep up with him through these S's and get one win in this last first challenge go at this, this championship. Damn, look how he's able to snake through these curves so easily. I'm hitting the brakes, hitting off the throttle. He's going kind of wide right there. We just gained a bunch of time back from him by the way he came off those set of curves. The second gear. So what I did in that first corner was I shipped it down to second gear. I went down too many gears. And then I was like, okay, let me slow down so that I'm not over revving it anymore. Instead of shifting up like a smart person would too. Okay, we've got straightaway speed. So it was never the straightaway speed. It was never the acceleration. It was just purely the fact that this car is absolutely awful at, at steering. It just It's like there's way too much wheel lock in there. This is a three-lap race. So once I get past this guy, as we enter these S's, we'll pull away some more in that front straightaway. I was thinking about clearing the status after finishing the championship this time. You know, the thing where you remove all the trophies and the completion. But we're not getting it this time. So I'm really just going to do the whole championship a second time. And we're going to skip out. We're going to skip the final race after doing the championship the second time. <laughs> I hate to say it, but our first 2000 in the final race. They already got the semi-racing suspension on there. Why is it so bad? Why does it not want to do race car thing? It's not an actual race car. It's a golf car. But... Supposed to be tuned and want to do stuff. And I can't just buy full customizer and expect it to be so much better. That just means you can customize it and make it better. And I don't know shit about tuning, so what the... I'm losing all the money that I'm supposed to be trying to make in this episode. I just did sell a bunch of cars though, so it's fine, but... We're gonna do that. And I'm gonna try to tune this car the way that it should be. You... You, fuck this game. Fuck this game. In the ass. This is bullshit. The, they could have done this the first time, and I would have not had so much shit to clean up. But no. Now that I've spent 18,000 credits for full customize, I'm not even going to bother using it, because they don't have the RS Turbo here. Every car does not threaten me. There's, there's an F. It's F. But what does the F mean? Fast. Because none of the bitches last time were faster than mine. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah, I told you. I, I, mm, I hate whenever the game says this to me. I mean, I should be happy that they did that. But I'm bitter that I just spent all that credits for, for nothing in this scenario. 2,000! Yeah! Okay, we'll have the ride height all the way up, ride height all the way up. Uh, um, I feel like such a fucking moron, but I, come on! You, you can't tell me that this isn't confusing. I don't know what, whenever I turn up the spring, I, am, am I making it more stiff? Or am I making it more loose? I want more loose if the springs can, can move more. And it can go down further. Uh, I'll turn it up to 15, and I'll just turn this up to like 11.5, and I'll turn it up all the way, because I don't want to go too far from what they had in mind. Am I on pole now? Am I the fastest? Am I the greatest? Yeah! Yeah! Oh, oh, don't do that. JC, come on. This guy stayed 2.7 seconds behind me in the second half of the race, and I don't know how. 
that was my best lap of the race, a 50.8. So, uh, yeah, I, I did lose a bunch of time in the final corner. I know that much. There is another 2000. I love to see it. You know what? I want to have fun. So, I'm, I'm not going to qualify. I'm going to enjoy myself. And I'm going to let you guys watch it. Because I probably, like, skip through a bunch of footage and shit like that. Just to skip through me suffering through the race. Now you'll get to me. To, to watch me pass all these guys and race them with my car adjustments. I don't know what other adjustments I can make to this car to have it drive the way that I want to. Because it still isn't doing so. I don't know what it would take. But dude, why do I have to drive so slow? Just to apex the turn and stuff. And I'm gonna pass this, uh, this orange cube dude. Okay, second gear. We're going really slow. Not the best of angles for the corner, considering the fact that I had to come in from there. And second gear, and back up to third gear. It's just, it, basically what I had in mind was like ATV Off-Road Fury. Like that's what I think of whenever I have their adjustments. Like it tells you, are you adding it stiff? Or are you adding it um, soft, the springs? And here they just give you numbers. I, I, I don't know what the numbers apply to, but we're third. We've got straightaway speed. These two vitzes in front of me do not threaten me. We're keeping up with them, and we've got straightaways. We've got uh, like a, another, what, another four or six straightaways to take care of these guys, because that's where we always get. We're two seconds behind, so we're gaining, and we're sticking with them. Would you stop it? Would you please stop it? Without the straightaway speed, I'd probably just sit around and do nothing. I am able to keep up, so I'm driving this thing. I still don't feel like it's set up right, and I don't know what to do because I'm just so vague with this stupid number shit. Okay, we're gonna get him going into this turn, but it's gonna be difficult to make it. And you go driving down into me. Come on, up to third gear. There's our acceleration. This is racy. This is racy racing. Alright, we did that. The next race is Deep Forest. So in any race that I finish second place in, I shouldn't have to do anything extra to win it, considering the, the Vitz RS Turbo is not here. I should also mention that th this is the first time that we've had to do a championship a second time so that we get the grand prize and everything. There was a time before where we hadn't won all the races and had to go back and do it, but I'd already won the championship. And you already know that we got this one locked up because the, the two Vitzes are tied for second with 14 points. And while it's possible to gain 16 points in two races, um, it's not going to happen because I'm racing. I'm here. I'm not just sitting it out and not sandbagging it. We're going to do that in the last race, but this is just going to confirm it. And I've got to win this race. I'm gonna. Ugh, gosh, Deep Forest Raceway is so much more beautiful in this game. I mean, not that it's not beautiful in Gran Turismo 3, but... This is just a different kind of beautiful. Whenever you got the right saturation settings on your TV or, or the Elgato in this case, things actually look nice in this game. The default is so dull and pathetic. I have to do so much shit to the color whenever I'm making the, the thumbnails with the photo mode because by default the photo mode wants to show nothing and be a, a terrible impression of the game. I gotta add tons and tons, like 60% saturation Whenever I take the photos and I'm on my phone and I'm, I'm editing shit. Uh, and then I gotta add contrast because the shadows aren't dark enough and such and such. It's terrible. I don't know why the game's like that. Gran Turismo 3 is beautiful from the very beginning. Everything is just right. This game, just no character. Good graphics. They had to cut a little bit out just so they could have so much to feature in the game and so much depth. But whenever it comes down to it, the, the feeling is not there. The graphics are there, but the... The, the character is not. And I like that it's taking us more than the first lap to take the lead. Uh, I mean, I might be able to get to this red bit going to the final corner. I'm spending a lot of time in third gear, and I don't know if I've actually been shifting down in any of them. Okay, yeah, we're, we're going to get it all done in the first lap. He wants to run me into the grass, but I'm not letting it happen. There we go. This track is sponsored by me, by the way. There's a Nissan sign. Uh, understeer. Oh, uh, oh. Uh. Understeer. Him pushing me did not solve anything because of my understeer. It was already the problem. 
All right, and I wanted this to be thumbnail, this Deep Forest race, just because I don't think we've had a thumbnail featuring Deep Forest race, right? I try to have a different track in every thumbnail, but eventually I'm gonna run out in a 150 part series or whatever the heck. And that does it. There's our last 2,000 that we needed to get. And we could still get 2,000 for doing the next race, but I'm just gonna skip that. I don't think I want to click abandon all championship races because I think that kind of just cancels everything. It doesn't give me credit. So we're gonna start it and then exit. And then, ta-da, we did it. So now they give us the 15,000 for winning the whole championship, which gets me back to uh, 740,000. Um, we were at 735,000 before buying that upgrade. So we still made credits. We, we still did all that good stuff. You did not just disrespect me like that game. You, you are such a joke. I work so hard, I spend money to make my cars good so I can get the game completion, and you give me something that I could not have done anything with in, in this championship. I'll finish last in every race here. Ah! You know, I love this game. It's Gran Turismo 4, love this game. One of my favorite games of all time, but it's fucking stupid! This is a stupid game! And Rhino GT4 cannot convince me otherwise. Oh. 12% game completion. Love to see that beautiful number. What are we doing in the next episode? I'm not entirely sure just yet. We just surpassed uh, 200 days, by the way. Uh, where is that? Where's this live step van? Why is it called a step van? How do you step? There's no step thing. This is not a really big step in anything. 1972. This is not going to step in any direction in the motor industry. We're getting rid of this shit. Yeah, about 2,000 credits. Nice. I don't want to get rid of this MMR Cup car. I like this. I might take it back to the, the March Brothers thing and try to win another one and get it in a different color because even though it's stupid and it gave me so many problems in this episode, I still like it. I've been recording for almost an hour and 20 minutes. But, uh, looking through all this stuff, I don't know exactly what I plan to do in the next episode. We got some classics here and there. I've, I've done so much, um, what do you call it? B licensed material and, and non licensed material that now it's all come down to just one make races. As far as like special events and, and challenges, I don't have the license necessary to compete those either. Pretty soon, I think we're gonna have to go back and get our A license because we're running out of things to do aside from one make races. But there are, are tons of one make races available, so I'm kind of different about it. I just went through a day by selling a car. It probably takes a day to sell a car. You gotta look around for someone who wants it, but whatever. See you next time. That's that, and episode over.